What's going on everybody? Welcome to another match preview. We have made it to the semi-finals of Wimbledon on the men's side. The matches are going to be starting tomorrow, so we're going to be going through the, both of the semi-finals. We'll go and talk a little bit about what happened in the quarter-finals. We obviously did previews for those, and uh, first we're going to stick with Djokovic versus Batista or Good. So this one it's very interesting for me. I mean, a lot of people out there probably are going to dismiss Batista or Gurt. Uh, they might not even know who he is because he hasn't done anything at a Grand Slam level uh, to this extent. But when we go through the head-to-head, -head, you'll be very surprised at what he's actually done against Djokovic in 2019. So let's go to the road to the semifinals to this stage for Novak Djokovic. So best appearance here. Uh, he's won this title a few times, but the most recent was last year. He's the defending champion, and he de defeated Kevin Anderson last year in the final, and then uh, obviously beat Djokovic, uh, Sorry, beat Nadal along the way as well. Uh, there's his road to the final uh, to the quarter. Sorry, semi-final. Uh, he beat Cole Schreiber first round. Tricky opponent. Dismissed him in straight sets. Uh, Kudler in the second round in straight sets again. Her catch was actually his biggest test to date. So as you can see there, tiebreaker in the second set went the way of the Polish player. Um, and then Djokovic obviously finished it off. But a little bit of danger there for Djokovic against the big serving uh, Polish youngster. Uh, then the fourth round, easy win for Djokovic against a young Frenchman. And then in the quarterfinals, I was actually shocked at how well Djokovic played. Uh, I know he's the world number one defending champion, but uh, Goffin was winning in that first set. He was up 4-3. 30 love, and then after that, Djokovic just ran away with the match. Goffin couldn't come back from that. It was absolutely devastating from what Djokovic did. Very similar to what he did against Nadal in the final of the Australian Open. That same level, uh, which is perfect for Djokovic fans because he's playing at the perfect level at the right time of the tournament. And of course, he plays Batista Agut in the semifinals. Let's see where RBAs come from. So as you can see, his best result here was in 2017 in the uh, fourth round. He lost to uh, Marin Cilic, who actually made the final that year. So not a terrible loss in hindsight. Uh, beat Gaudrovic in the first round without dropping a set. He beat Darcy's in the second round thanks to a retirement in the third. Uh, and then he beat Hashinov, which was huge in the context of his tournament because Hashinov can be a dangerous player on grass. He's got a big serve. He plays very similar to Del Potro, and we all know that Del Potro is good on grass as well. So Hashinov uh, gets dismissed in straight sets, so massive win for RBA there. Then he beats Benoit Pair again, another player who can do really, really well on the grass courts when he's playing his best. Uh, RBA put him away as well in straight sets. And then against Pella in the last round, uh, Pella was coming off a couple of uh, really tough matches, especially against Rajonic coming back from two sets of love down. RBA dropped the third set but it was all the way through he was winning that match. So it was pretty easy for him in the end. And then, of course, he's playing Novak Djokovic. Now, this is where things get interesting. Let's go to the head-to-head. -head. So as you can see, it's 7-3 in favor of Djokovic. No surprise, Djokovic has a 7-3 record over a lot of players. He win he's got a winning record over pretty much everyone, everybody. Uh, but as you can see, the last two times they played, 2019, Batista Agut has won both of them. And he's come back from a set down in both of them as well. Uh, there's a little bit of a typo there, but it is 6-1 in the first set of the Miami Open to Djokovic. And then, obviously, Batista Agut went on to win that one. Uh, then the last time they played not on hard court was at Roland Garros last year. And still, that scoreline is pretty close. 7-6, 7-6 in the middle two sets. 6-4 in the first set to Djokovic. Pretty close there. Djokovic won that one, and that's what happened. Uh, they have never played on a grass court. So we've got to keep that in mind. Never played on a grass court. Uh, but their head-to-head -head record when it's on a hard court is dead even. 3-3. Three, three. Djokovic has won the other four matches on clay courts, so, uh, which is Batista Agut's weakest service. So uh, somehow Batista Agut's got, uh, got the wood over Djokovic when it comes to playing on a hard court. We'll see what happens with the grass courts. Last time they played, Djokovic won four out of se uh, 13 break points. So he had a lot of opportunities. He just couldn't take them. And then, as you can see last time, Batista Agut had four out of seven break points. So the opposite. He had smaller opportunities, but he made the most of everything he had, uh, which is what he's going to have to do in the semifinal here against Djokovic. Last round against Goffin, Djokovic won seven out of ten break points. So that's what he needs to do if he's going to beat Batista Agut, take his opportunities. And he was at 70% conversion rate on his break points against Goffin, which is crazy good. And then, uh, as, as I said before, uh, Batista Agut's only lost one set for the entire tournament, and that was in the uh, quarterfinals against Payer. So that's very interesting to see. He's on form, and he's dangerous. All right. 
Now, I wasn't going to do predictions, but I changed my mind at the last minute, and I'm going to do them anyway, because I know a lot of people got upset with my predictions about Nadal, um, <laughs> even though I was wrong. Uh, but I got three out of four in the quarterfinals. So I'm going to stick with my predictions, and I'm going to stick with what I'm going to, what I think is going to happen. So, I mean, both semifinals are huge. They're like Both of them have potential to go five sets. Like I said, Tissera Gutz got the 2-0 record in 2019 over Djokovic. Pretty sure he's the only player to beat Djokovic twice this year as well. Nadal, Federer, they've not beaten Djokovic twice this year, but um, but Batista are good has. So that's something he can hang his hat on. Uh, but I think it will come down to experience. I mean, this is his first Grand Slam semifinal. He's playing a guy who's won uh, a lot of semifinals and also won a lot of these Grand Slam titles as well. So he knows what it takes. Also, it's a five-set match. And it's on grass. So it's a little bit different to what Batista did at the start of the year where he lost the first set, came back to win on hard court in a three-set match. So I think it's going to be a little bit tricky for Batista Good. I think if he's any chance of winning, he's going to have to win the first set. If he lets the first set drop to Djokovic, Djokovic will run away with a match. Uh, but I think this is... This is definitely going to be four sets. Um, I think maybe five sets of Batista Agut can get maybe a little bit lucky and you know, maybe wins the first set and the third set. But uh, I think that in the end, uh, the winner of this is going to be um, Novak Djokovic. I mean, I picked him to win the whole tournament from the start. He had the easier draw out of the big three, so Nadal, Federer, Djokovic. He had the easier draw out of all of them. He doesn't have to play against Nadal or Federer or both of them in this tournament. He only has to play one of them, which is a big deal. Uh, so I think he wins. Based on experience, I mean, Batista Agut's got that psychological advantage, though. Won the last two. Very interested to see how Djokovic reacts in the first couple of sets against Batista Agut. Like I said, I think Batista Agut can get a set. He's only lost one set, so he's definitely not going to be tired going into the Djokovic match. Fully fresh. He's not lost hardly any. Well, he's lost one set, so he should be fine fitness-wise. And he seems to know how to beat Djokovic. It just depends if it can convert onto a grass court. So I think Djokovic wins this one, let's say, four sets. Five sets is probably pushing it a little bit, but I'd love to have a five-set match. Either way, Djokovic will win, and uh, he will make it into the final of Wimbledon 2019. So make sure that you come along to the live shows. We're doing live shows on Friday uh, for both semifinals, back-to-back. -back. We're doing both of them, uh, so make sure you come along to say hello and uh, join in the fun. They're a lot of fun. We get a lot of people involved. Uh, you guys, I answer you, your guys' questions, and you guys are having a big chat as well, so you can keep up to date with the live scores as it happens. Uh, hopefully this match lives up to the expectation it probably could. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you like the video, and I'll see you guys soon.